Right, we'll do a wee warm up, wee 10 to 15 minutes, right? Uh, sorry, a wee soft kit, 10 to 15 minutes, that's it. Because it's it's uh, it's the beginning of the journey, guys. So we'll start small. Right, what am I aiming to do? I'm trying to lose a wee bit of beef, right? A wee bit of the old belly, okay? Don't mind. It's solid. There's a bit of beef there. All day just catching up with me. Wah, wah, right? Wah, 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 wah. What do we not do? We don't punch the ball without the gloves on, all right? So, I don't have a rope handy, can I find it? So we're having a wee imaginary skip, a wee warm up. Okay, we put a shadow boxing. Get the arms moving. Get the arms across, right? Just get yourself loose. We circles. Big circles. Back the way. Right? Just loosen the shoulders off. Don't overstretch, don't overdo it. Don't want to overdo anything because it's early in the journey. You're going to start to feel the heart go quick. This is a cold start. Right, I'm just moving about. Boom, boom, boom. Ho, ho. Right, I'm getting ready to go. It's a wee boxer size type circuit, dead simple. We'll stick the gloves on. Lovely night. Had a good day. Busy. Bit of work done. Do this, then I'm going for a swim down the river. And that's the name of the game. Balance. No drama. Right, got the gloves on. Remember what I said guys, forget power, forget speed, it all comes with time. Coordination, okay, boom, the jab. I lead with the left, so it's the left I'm going to use. Jab, jab, right? Dead simple, breathing, big breaths all the time. Jab, jab, right? Jab. Too much power, I'm not going to be able to last 10 minutes, so jab, jab. Jab, right? Nice and easy, jab. Right, look. One, two, three, okay? Oh, uppercut, uppercut. Coming in, right? Wow, wow. Just moving it. Wow. Wow. Just moving about. Wow. 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 You don't even need to go that hard, right? I'm not hitting it hard, it just sounds hard. It's the slap against the gloves. Bang. <laughs> Moving about, <sighs> breathing all the time. I'm starting to feel it already, okay? Moving because I'm not as fit as I think I am, and this is high intensity. Five minutes in the bag, right? Then the gloves come off. I'm warm. I'm loose. I'm breathing. I'm sweating. My heart's beating. Blood going everywhere, right? But I'm still moving. And I'm struggling for air. So, bring it down. Two or three big breaths, but not too many to make yourself dizzy, okay? If you can't do normal press-ups, guys, no one's watching, no one cares, get on your knees, right? Hands just over, over shoulder width. Put a little bit of padding down for your knees. Straighten your back and just gently drop down Kind of look forward, but not enough that you're going to hyperextend the neck and injure yourself. Just do what's comfortable, guys. Form will come with time. It's not important just now. Right? One, two, three. Okay? Just do them in fours and fives till you build the strength up. Doesn't matter about numbers. Right? No one cares. Remember. Sit up. I'll turn this way. Okay? If all you can do 
is stomach crunches, head and shoulders up off the deck, hands in the thighs, run the hands up and down the thigh, the thighs, three or four inches to the knees back down, look, dead simple, right? You can cross over hand to alternate knee, okay? That way you're rolling the stomach, you're bringing the obliques into play. If it's too much for you guys, it might be easier if you bring your legs up and you just gently do that. Push them out, bring them in, okay? Dead simple. If you need to put your hand under it to help you, do it, right? Do it. To get yourself going, do it. A couple of weeks you'll be doing them easy. Use everything to help yourself get there. Why? Say it again, no one cares, no one's watching. This is your journey. You're doing what other people are not doing, okay? I'll watch the bag. So, I'm up, I've done my sit-ups, done my press-ups. When you're doing the sit-ups, your, your heart rate slumps, slumps again, okay? Because it's not very high intensity. Sometimes, you're better leaving the sit-ups to the end. Little jumps, right? Look, don't go all the way down because you can uh, injure yourself. So, start easy. Down halfway and up. Right? And you're just jumping inches off the deck, right? Look. Just like that, right? Brilliant for the quads. Brilliant for your explosive power, for your core. Okay? Then you can punch, look. One, two, three, four. Right? Five, you can do that. You can throw uppercuts. Throw them in batches of 20s and 30s or 10s and 15s, whatever's easy. Remember, no one cares, no one's watching. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right, then you can go higher. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's what you do. Everything I'm showing you here, guys, is in its rawest form. This is a 10 to 15 minute circuit, including the warm up. Really, there's about seven or eight minutes of intensity. The rest is the warm up and the warm down, okay? No stretching. Just move as you're stretching. Movement. There's no big extended movements, so you don't need to stretch. Just warm yourself up. If all you can do is skip, with your balls of your feet on the floor, just move your ankles side to side. I'll over-exaggerate so you can see what I'm doing, right? Uppercuts. Wah, 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 wah. Ba, 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 ba. Jab, right, throw a jab, throw a hook, throw an uppercut, overhand right, move about, move about, back and forward, do it again, right? Fours and fives, dead easy. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't have a bath, and most people probably won't, grab a brush or a mop and just do that, right? One leg forward, and these are chest ups, right? So it's just one, two, three, and that's for your explosive power. Out to the front, up to the chest, up, down, then go one, two, four. Okay, dead, dead simple. Throw that bar up and down. Do it with a bare bar, take the discs off. Remember, nobody cares, nobody's looking, right? Here's the bag. Slide the ball, move out the road. Slide the ball, move out the road, right? Dead simple. But what am I doing? What am I doing? Right? What am I doing? I'm using the core, I'm using the obliques, I'm using the adductors, I'm using the top of the legs, right? Dead easy, move out the road of the ball, look, just move round the ball, just move round the ball. You don't even need to throw punches, okay? Dead simple. Couple of lunges, hands up in your head or up in your chest for balance, whatever's easier. Just step in, right? And what you do, I'll come close, right? What you do is, I'm not overstepping, right? I'm not putting the leg away over there, and really, that comes with time, guys. Just step forward, bend down and up and down, right? It's a lunge. You're just stepping into it, down and up, right? And you're just bringing the body into play. That does the glutes, right? Glutamus maximus, your bum cheeks. Okay, dead simple. Hands in your chest, up and down, 
try and keep decent for him. So look forward, don't go all the way down too soon. Comes with time. Dead simple. Keep it simple, guys. Enjoy it. And what you do, right? Put a wee clock up, a stopwatch, a clock in at all, and set it at 15 minutes and count down the way. That's a psychological trick. When we used to run 20, 30 milers, we'd say, oh, we've done 24 mile, we've got six to go. Right? And you'd be like, oh, wow, 26 mile them. No, I would forget that number and say, I've got a six miler to do. And literally cancel out the fact I've just ran 24 mile or 20, do you get me? So I'd cancel it out, even though I was blowing out my bum, I would just cancel it out. Right, lads, morning, we've got a six miler to crack. We've done it a million times. Dead easy. It's all basic psychology. Here's a wee disc, right? Get a good tight grip of it. Curl it. Right? Put it out to the front. One, two, three. Do 20 of them. 20 up the way. 20 over the head. See that? 20 over the head. Nice and slow. One, two, three. Dead easy. You can do circles, windmills. Again, you're twisting the hips, you're doing the obliques, the adductors, the shoulders, the upper chest, the trapezius, the latimus dorsi, right, the lats, you're doing everything, dead easy. You can bend over, do that, front deltoids, simple. <coughs> uh, what else can we do? Right, so, we're still warm, we've done our six, seven, eight minutes, which is perfect for a beginner. And we're starting to feel it. First three or four half a dozen sessions you're going to feel. Now it's time to start kind of winding it down, okay? You've got a sweat on, the heart rate's going. You're dying for the end and it's coming to the end. So we start to relax, okay? But we just start to relax and wind everything down. Still do the same things, but just do less of it. Right, maybe not even, just touching, just touching. Just touching, moving round, right? Two or three minutes of just moving round the bag. Two or three minutes, back and forward, back and forward. Keeping everything going, wind it down, wind it down, wind it right down to a standstill, breathe. In through the nose, hold it, big lungs, fill them up, let it out. Hold it two or three seconds, let your lungs drink the oxygen out of the intake. Get it back into the blood and, 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 and cool down, okay? And basically, that's me being on this video for 13 minutes. Now, I wasn't watching the clock there. I just know that that's roughly how long it takes. It's, it's literally muscle memory and brain memory. I've done it that many times that I know how many minutes it takes me to get warm. I roughly know the time scale it takes me to do each set of this, that, next thing, and the next thing, boom, 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 all of a sudden, 8, 10, 12, 16 minutes has passed, boom, I'm into my wind down. Before you know it, you look at the clock and you've done an accurate 20 minute circuit. <clears throat> so, this is where the guilt tripping comes in, because if you're saying to me, right, if you're saying that you can't find 20 minutes a day to benefit your health and your well-being, you are never, ever going to be a better version of yourself, guys. I hate to be blunt, but I can only be blunt. I can only be black and white. There's no other way to put it. If you're not prepared to set 20 minutes apart out of a 24-hour day, no one is that busy. I've been extremely busy at times in my life, 16, 17 hours a, a days. I still found 20 minutes to go and hit a bag or something else, okay? Who are you trying to kid? Who are you lying to? So, there we go. Don't do it. Don't, don't make excuses for yourself and give yourself an easy run. Just do it. 15 minutes, 17 minutes, 21 minutes, 25 minutes, and quick shower, cold dip, whatever it is that floats your boat, job done. 
Okay. So don't make excuses. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm actually now going to do a bit of training. That was just a quickie to show you what can be achieved with absolutely limited, 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 limited bits and bobs. Right? So, have a think about it. Have a think about it. I was going to quickly show you a wrap, right? These are cheap wrap. Look, Everlast, right? Sorry, Lonsdale. I'll just whip it off. Right? Dead simple. They're cheap and cheerful, guys. And this is not the professional way to, to wrap your hands, right? But it works, right? So just... So we thumb grab. And I like more supporting the wrists. Okay, I've got thin wrists. Naturally thin wrists. Uh, and I just like a bit of strength around the wrist. I do a couple and... When I get to here, I just grip, right? So I do a couple over the knuckles. Not too tight, but still tight that I can make that fist, but that there's no play, okay? No bunching in the wrap. They're only short wraps. I do prefer a longer wrap, but these are just short wraps. I'm not hammering this, so I don't need knuckle protection and all the rest of it, right? Then I come up. Another one round the knuckles, and then I come back down. And I finish with a sticky Velcro, right? I can still make my fists all good. And that's it. Okay? Dead simple. Right? Professionals, you'll see them all through here. Knuckle tape, padding. We're not going down that road. That's just basics, right? Wee bit of strength here. Wee bit of protection here. You still need to be able to grip. Never put your thumb in here, guys. That is not how you throw a punch. Your thumb... Thumb is a limb, it will snap in two on impact. Don't do that, please, right? Over, okay? Right, make a punt, make a fist properly. All right? You see it? How are you looking at these bad boys? Okay. <clears throat> you see, if I, lo if I lost like a 10 pound off the belly, I'd be a Greek Adonis, you know? <laughs> I'd have a six pack. <clears throat> That's never going to happen. I like a curry and a fish supper too much. Anyway, so that was a wee, that was a wee quick one, right? Now I'm going to do my wee bit. But what I'm still not doing because we're sharing the journey. So I can't secretly get super fit without sharing it, okay? So you'll see all the mistakes. You'll see me knackered. You'll see me... Probably going, oh, can't be bothered with this tonight after five minutes. You're going to see all that as well. Because that is the true journey. It's not all roses, guys, right? Jab. Right, so what I'm going to work on is hand speed. I've got naturally fast hands. In my opinion, they're fast. I, I, I've always had fast hands. Probably because I've got light hands and thin arms. I've got thin wrists. But I've got fast hands, I can move them quickly when I train. So I'm just working in that just now. I'm not worried about power because I don't need power. Power's generated by speed and accuracy and timing. It comes down the lane. Don't worry about it, I don't need it. I'm not boxing or anything. So I'm just moving around. Right? Okay, I'm just getting fit. Right? That's all I'm doing. Jab. What the jab? And then back, always back, keep the guard up. Think, fight like you're in a fight, box like you're in, right? Train, try and, try and learn, try and get something. We're not building boxers, but we're building athletes. That's what this is about. Right? Naturally fast hands, but they come faster and faster and faster the more I train. So, that's what I'm now going to do. And I'll do my wee bit of, right? I'll do my, my shadow boxing. I'll do my burpees, do a couple of these star jumps. Do what I need to do. But I'll never forget to breathe. Guys, a wee circuit is your friend, okay? It's not your enemy. Do it 
for yourself. I'm doing this for me. And people will say stupid things. People that look for excuses will say, what do you want to get fit for? You could die of a heart attack tomorrow. You could get hit with a bus. Yep. I could also fall down a cliff and my fitness might help me crawl two miles to a farmhouse. I want to be fit so I can give a good account of myself. Because when you're fit, you're focused. When you're sharp in the body, you're sharp in the mind. When you're sharp in the mind, you're sharp in the body. It's all the same machine. So the people that make those stupid statements, they're usually in a, in a different lane and they're usually miles behind you. So leave them there. Alright? Enjoy your night. Take care.